experience, but in different ways. Handley in mixed martial arts. Caswell, more in judo, but he's been in the cage. This is his fifth appearance now. Very interesting to see Handley shoot for the takedown. Seen him a huge amount of times. Bit of an all-rounder, had a hard run of it of late, but he's got skills. Caswell, when you think of traditional judo, you know, you think of the guys clinching and, and the hip throws. Caswell does these great outside trips, Johnny. Shoots in from what seems miles away. Very difficult to prepare for. And I'm thinking maybe that was going through the Spartan MMA camp's mind. And they're thinking, let's just take that out of the equation and shoot for the takedown themselves. Well, Caswell is just neutralizing Handley at the moment. Handley, a former ranked flyweight. Dropped outside, will be looking to get back in the mix. Doing well, just, yeah, just keeping butterfly guard here and manages to find some space to get up, but Handley was right in on the hips. Very tight indeed. The Spartan fighters having a lot of success this evening. Yeah, Handley's been in there with some tough, tough guys, and credit to Brian Adams in the, the gym down there for putting Caswell in with him, because as you said, in MMA there is a discrepancy in experience. Obviously, not when you look at combat sports as a whole, but it's a, it's a big test for Caswell, no doubt about it. Well, we can see the base already from Little Ninja. It's going to be difficult. And Beautiful. <laughs> nice throw there from Caswell. Finds an angle. Distributed the weight, which upset Handley's balance. And Caswell is now with his back against the fence. Handley is just trying to find a way to keep Caswell from getting back to his feet and advance his position. It's great to see Hanley work in a game plan, John. You see and Caswell gets his hips out, Dave. Sorry, he gets back to his feet. But once again, he still hasn't managed to release Handley from that position that he's kept since pretty much the opening of this round. Yeah, both fighters stuck together at this point. Caswell now has levered up his opponent. Got over under. Now looking to throw a knee as well. Handley with good head position. But as he tries to go for a takedown, he's caught by Caswell, who has very heavy hips. He's going to be very heavy in that top position. Credit to Hanley for avoiding what looked like it could be a mount momentarily there. Sprung back to his feet well. This is a game he probably doesn't want to play, though. Caswell has shown already great use of the legs. Double unders doesn't mean much when you're up against the judoka of this level. Yeah, I, I actually don't know how he's been able to turn some of those uh, takedown offense against him into throws for him. Very interesting, but that's the high-level stuff that one would expect from an Olympian. I was just mentioning earlier, it's good to see Hanley employing clearly a game plan here, John, because, you know, you suffer a couple of losses and you get into that status of, of maybe being referred to as a gatekeeper and almost like you're going through the motions. It's great to see him come down here and, and clearly trying something different. You know, he's prepared for Caswell and it shows. Well, I think from what we've seen from the Spartan guys this evening, they mean business. They are not just putting guys out there on a whim. They're preparing them properly and they're all coming in with a strategy. Again, Handley was being thrown, but he's finding a way to get back to his feet immediately and use wrestling to try and combat this judo approach of Caswell. Yeah, I mean, from the crowd's point of view, John, I mean, there's not been a lot of striking, but it's been hugely entertaining for me just to see the clash of styles and who would have thought Mark Hanley would come in here and clinch with Brett Caswell for almost an entire round? Caswell has been very open in that he's having to learn the striking arts. But as a natural fighter, somebody who spent so very long in training, you would imagine that he's going to pick up those techniques quite quickly. Yeah, I was there for Caswell's first pro win on the last Shokanor, and if there was any criticism of him, it was that he perhaps wasn't at 
busy enough when he did get on top. He worked position absolutely brilliantly, but there was a lot of opportunities for ground and pound. So, like you say, that's obviously something he's working towards. So, round number two just ahead. Handley in the blue shorts, Caswell in the black trunks. John Gooden, David Leatherby in commentary. Shockenor 14 in Portsmouth at the Mountbatten Centre. Sellout crowd, very vocal this evening for their local fighter, Brett Caswell. Oh, and Handley's trying to find a home for these punches. Yeah, intriguing on the feet as well. This has turned into a real contest. Nice inside kick from Caswell. Handley replies. Speaking with Brian Adams, the coach of Press Caswell, he honestly thought that he was going to take it in the first. But Mark Handley looking to spoil the party this evening. Nice right hand from Caswell. Oh, and short fuse beckons on the little ninja. Another series of punches lands. Beautiful, beautiful throw. But Handley, to his credit, he, you can see Johnny's prepared for it, isn't he? He's certainly prepared for it. Absolutely, everything's been covered in both camps. As you would expect at this end of the sport, as we get deeper into the evening. Still ahead, James Pennington versus Ben Crook for the vacant title. That in the bantamweight division. As we see Caswell and Handley jostling for position against the fence. Lots of pummeling, high level stuff here. Any slight errors are going to wind themselves up in a bad spot. Really are concentrating on the wrestling efforts at the moment. Be interested to see if anyone wants to start looking for some dirty boxing. Some elbows in those close ranges, even some knees. I think both fighters are probably a little wary about throwing knees in case they're caught. Oh, Caswell drops down very quickly, gets his hands together, and is successful in the takedown. Yep. Caswell in top position is dangerous indeed. Certainly spent the majority of his pro debut in this position. Excellent control from the top, but Handley to his credit. Handley doing very well to turn it around. In danger of a choke, perhaps. He's going to pull on that leg, pull it out, and that will land Caswell on his butt. Closer to getting his back on the canvas, but a good cross face from Caswell. Stops that from happening. Which really goes to show, Johnny, you never do know in MMA, do you? I'm just still astonished the amount of time that Hanley's managed to, to spend in the clinch with Caswell. And Caswell breaks away, tries to land a couple on his exit. Caswell nice landed, check. excuse me, landed a couple of nice right hands earlier on. Definitely got Hanley's attention, although, as you mentioned, he was calling him on. Well, Handley wanted a walk, and he certainly got one. A good shoot there from Caswell. Stuffed very well from Handley. On paper, this like, looked like a brilliant contest to really test the credentials of Brett Caswell against an experienced fighter. And Handley is making a very good account of himself. Credit to Hanley again. The shot looked deep, John, and you would have put your money on a Caswell takedown, but it didn't happen. Double unders now for Caswell. There's an elbow. A little bit more work with strikes from Handley. That'll be the experience starting to show. Oh, nice elbow. Nice short elbow. Stabbing at the eye of Caswell. Going for the guillotine, maybe, Handley. Yeah, as soon as he gets his hands together, Caswell with his awesome judo base. Just with that technique, he's able to get this down to the mat. And be holding on to the neck. It's not often profitable in half guard, but as well, it's giving him something to think about. He's just trying to peel that hand off. Yeah, he was defending for a moment, but we can see that he's released one of his hands now. 
Gonna look to try and pull out in the last 10 seconds. Looks to move to the mount, but it might be better versed in just landing some shots at this stage. Final five minutes. Both fighters looking very light on their toes coming into the final standings. Yeah, I think Caswell clearly probably took the, the second round. First round was very close, as we mentioned, so still a lot to play for, I think. And they look using the arms to get the takedown. Oh, Could be in a triangle. triangle set up from Caswell past the side by Handley, but he's not out of danger. I did speak to Caswell about this bout. He did fancy the win by armbar, but not really able to get anything working off his back then. Also been working on leg locks, which could be interesting. Handley looks like he's got renewed impetus and motivation for this contest. Yeah, as I mentioned, Johnny, it's just great to see him work a game plan. Like I said, he's he's not just going out there and going through the motions at all. Maybe the guys at Spartan are just the tonic that he needs to put some structure together for a fight camp. I mean, as you know, Johnny, confidence plays a, a huge part in a fighter's mindset. Perhaps it's just a tipping point, apparently. Great takedown oh, from oh, Caswell. Oh, moves Caswell to the back dumps. straight away. He dumps Handley almost head first and now looks to seek out a rear naked choke. That looks on. He's tied the arms. This could be it for Handley going for the short choke. A grimace across the face of Handley looking slightly more comfortable for the moment as Caswell moves at a body triangle. Short choke back to the standard rear naked. Now that's under the chin but Handley has defended that very well indeed. Yeah, it's so difficult. We mentioned all the time with the MMA gloves. The likes of Aoki now almost using face cranks. He's actually mentioned Shinya Aoki that he doesn't go for the neck. He goes for that jawline and just almost rips the head across because it is so difficult. The guys are getting so well versed at, at protecting the neck in the rear naked choke position. This is the position I'm sure that these fighters have been sitting in for many hours in the gym and Handley Finds some space, explodes round, and is in a more dominant position. What an exciting back and forth encounter this is. Fantastic, fantastic matchup here at Shokanor. Caswell going to the rubber guard. Crooked guard slips back to full guard. Looking quite aggressively with it though. Foot on the hip. But Handley is cute to that, opening up and going to step through. Make that nice and uncomfortable for Caswell, which he does. Got to be careful with his weight distribution, however. Yeah, he's got to be so careful with the strikes here, Hanley, because he knows the level of grappler below him. Just, you know, you want to keep Caswell guessing and, and keep his attention on strikes, but you can't give him any opportunities. It's a real cash-22 situation when you're here. Really aggressive guard work from Caswell, who posts out, gets back to his feet. Handley quick on the hips, really nice work. Keeps moving almost in a 360 fashion to get standing vertically again. Handley, look at that use of the head, powering it under the chin of Brett Caswell. This is gonna be so very tight on paper. A nice trip from Caswell, but straight back to his feet from Handley. We were speaking before the fights, actually, Dave, about how they actually count on the judging criteria. Do they count, or when someone gets back to their feet so very quickly, is it nullified? Yeah, well, like you say, I mean, in a bout this close, when you're just looking for the finest of margins to separate guys, of course, it's got to be taken in the, into consideration. But, you know, as we mentioned, it's nothing like securing a takedown and, and working the position. Uh, in, in a bout this close, that sort of thing might be the difference, Shia. Huge task for the judges. Such a very technical bout to score as well. So a little bit of striking from Handley. Almost a cameo of striking for this fight. 
looking for the guillotine there. Wow, I've never in all my time cage side seen something like that. And now there is an arm that is in jeopardy right now of Mark Handley. Not a long time to operate. Can Caswell rip this out and secure a submission? Handley is going to guard that with everything he's worth. And there is the sound of the buzzer, which unfortunately brings a close to this contest. Brian Adams very quick to raise his man aloft.